What's up everyone? Welcome to Fantastic. Today, we are going to look on how to install Google Camera Port on other devices. Before going into the video, let me tell you what are the benefits of Google Camera APK Port. As you all know, Google has the best camera optimization in the industry. So what is Google Camera Port? What is the difference between stock camera and Google Camera? It's just simple. The stock camera on your phone fools you by whitening and sharpening your photos. But what is the difference? Google Camera app uses the hardware at its most and gets the best photo with your camera. It takes advantage of most of the hardware where the stock camera don't use it. The reason why photographers prefer pixel camera over other devices is just because this. The camera optimization is brilliant on pixel devices. So how can you get the best quality photos in your devices? It's just simple. Download Google Camera Port to your device and install it and run it. The Google Camera proves that a great hardware is worth nothing if you don't have a good software. An OK software can't use the fancy number megapixels on your devices. So let's take an example. Imagine you have a 64 megapixel camera and you have an OK software. The picture quality won't be that great. And imagine a 12 megapixel with a great software. The picture quality will definitely meet the expectations. So without further ado, let's go to the tutorials. It's very easy. Just follow these tips. Open Google Chrome and search Google Camera for OnePlus 8 Pro. Click on the first link which says it's by XDA developers. Scroll down and click on download Gcam port for OnePlus 8 and 8 Pro. Now download the most recent update of the Gcam port. If you haven't enabled the installation from external resources, enable it now and then install it. It's done. Now just open the app and allow the necessary permissions. So in the OnePlus 8 Pro, the new Gcam port also supports the wide angle and the telephoto lens but it should be done manually click on down arrow go to settings now advanced settings and then click auxiliary camera then enable show buttons telephoto and wide Even though Google Camera Port offers the main camera sensor, portrait, nightscape, slow motion and 360, I would prefer to use the main camera, portrait and nightscape. The rest is better than the stock camera. Here are some photos taken with the normal camera mode and the Google Camera Night Sight. And here are some portraits. So that's all in this video. Hope this video is helpful to you. Comment down your suggestions and I'll be back with some other tips and tricks. Until then, bye-bye.